This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 24. What? Do it. it has explosive run plays. Run. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And one play touchdowns for every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays that I'll be showing you in today's video are once again from my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help on offensive or defense, you can instantly download these or any of my eBooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. Recently, EA updated the rosters for the final 53, and that means the Eagles lost speedsters like Devin Allen's 95 speed at receiver or Kyron Johnson's 92 speed at defensive end and outside linebacker, which is totally a bummer. But I was really excited that they traded for a super fast, cheap speed cheat code tight end by the name of well let's just call him alex o because i get enough hate in the comments for not being able to pronounce easy names so i'm not even going to try this one but the important part is that this guy is six foot five with 88 speed and 92 acceleration making one of the fastest tight ends in the game and this is the perfect timing for me to unveil my new favorite two tight end offense out of the gunwing flex offset that i've been labbing behind the scenes for some time now i want to do a full breakdown of this offense in a future video where i show all the setups and all the one play touchdowns all in one place so if you guys want to see that make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section now now, this is the first time that I ever use this offense against a live opponent, but I did, however, put out a gameplay yesterday about a new defense where I was also using this offense. I also got to show a one-play touchdown in that video that I'm not going to get to show here, so if you guys want to see more from this offense, I will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video. I started this game out on defense, and I'm still using my 3-4 odd scheme as I think this is the best defense to use in Madden 24. But once again, I will mostly be focusing on offense in this video, so if you guys want to see more about that, I did make a video about this defense, and I will have a link in the description as well as on-screen at the end the video one more time on the first series i get him to a fourth and short right away which i can understand him going for as he picks it up on a zig to keep the drive alive before the blitz forces back-to-back -back incompletions from throw out of sack animations then on third down after setting the house most of the drive i drop everyone back and almost get an interception oh you almost had it and i guess the distance doesn't matter to this guy because he's going for it once again we can go my setup from the gun wing flex offset are to make sure that I have Alex O at this spot here, although there are times where it's best to have him at the other tight end spot for certain plays. For my audible plays, the inside zone is my only run play, but there are several really good run plays in this formation you can choose from, like the O1 trap or the power O, which really works like a counter run in the opposite direction. As for the pass plays, I'm going to choose the stick nod vertical, which is a dink and dunk play, as well as a one play touchdown versus multiple defenses, including cover zero. The next play is the wheel pose drag, which is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses as well including cover two man which is the one i showed in yesterday's gameplay and the last play is the pa double post which is probably the best play in the formation as it can do just about everything and the fifth play that i typically choose is going to be the mesh spot as this play has multiple routes that can't be stopped if you use this play correctly on the very first play is in an obvious cover zero if you guys followed my gun stack wide flex series one of my favorite things to do in that offense was to throw quickly to the wheel route from the drive h wheel well i can still do that from this offense as well and it's just as effective as i use it on the first play of the drive to get a first down on second down he is still in that cover zero so i switched to the stick not vertical as every route gets open against man zero if you motion across the x receiver and put him on a slant but he is using my pinch bug zero defense and that heat is just different as it gets in super fast messing up the accuracy of the throw so in the next play i just hit the running back again to get to a third and one before hitting it again for an easy score Do it. on defense he's doing the exact same thing but there's levels of this gotcha, bitch. as we get the ball right back and he has seen enough already See my next game is against another top team in the game in the Cincinnati Bengals. I start this game out on defense as well, and we start by pushing this guy backwards as well. Before he hits me with a zig underneath for the first, now at midfield I'm sending the heat. Bring that ass here, boy. And we are now shutting down everything that moves as we get him into a third and long that he turns into a fourth and short and decides to go for it. <laughs> Back in offense, my opponent is in cover zero once again, so I switch to the stick not vertical one more time, only this time I see the receiver has outside leverage more than normal. So I make that my read, and we get an easy first down. I go back to the running back from the mesh spot on the next play, and it turns out that he was in zone. 
but this route gets open underneath anything if you throw it right away. He comes out in man zero once again, so I go back to the stick nod vertical, planning to hit that wide route one more time when he suddenly decides to change defenses. So I hike the ball and take the easy score. <laughs> Fuck you! And now he must be pretty pissed about that as he's coming out firing on all cylinders and running a hurry up offense the entire time. Just because he is running his offense faster doesn't mean it's going to be better. As we get him into another fourth down situation from midfield that he decides to go for once again. Gotcha, bitch. So we'll have to call this a punt return as I get even closer this time. I read zone the next play, so I switch to the stick knot vertical one more time. As this play can also beat any zone coverage. All you have to do is run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field, streak the X route to pull back any deep zones in the area, and the Y triangle receiver will get open underneath. Thank you. We don't it on my ride, but I drive it As we get our second rage quit in the first quarter. Good, then get the hell out of my life. Who needs you? Beat it. Leave me alone. My last game was against one of the worst teams in the Carolina Panthers, so you might think that this is going to be the easiest game in all of them, but it's the exact opposite, as team overalls don't really matter if you know how to use a team properly. I start this game out using an experimental defense in the 4-3 even 6-1. It starts out great as we get him to a 4th and long before he converts it over the middle. I get him into a 3rd and long after that before he picks it up again, and this is the cycle as we keep getting him into these situations and he keeps making a play until he gets to the goal line, that is. Yeah! So down a quick 7-0, this guy runs an annoying defense where he switches coverages after I read the defense and prepare my play. So I read man, but by the time I get the play started, he has something else set. But this route to the tight end still gets open anyway. He does it again on the next play, but Goddard climbs the ladder you got and somehow stays in bounds. I try to go back to the tight end in the end zone, but since there's a lot less field here, the safety plays much more shallow and jumps it. On defense, he goes right back to the same cycle of patiently chipping away my defense and picking up third and shorts to convert, while killing pretty much all the clock in the process. Before he hits the running back uncovered to get into the red zone, we send the heel in the next play to at least push him back, and since he has no timeouts less, he just takes the two-possession lead in a half. As this guy basically killed the entire clock, allowing me only one possession so far. I still have one timeout, so I try to set up a cover through one play touchdown up the seam. But you kind of have to be on the hash mark for this play to work. God damn it! And I get a bad actually throw anyways as it gets picked off. And he gets enough of a return to kick another field goal from here. I get the ball back to start the second half though, so I know that I have to score fast as I won't have a lot of opportunities to get the ball back with this guy. He is starting to get a little more predictable on defense as he is showing a lot of single high safety looks, meaning he's either in cover one or cover three. So I hit the running back underneath his cover one on the next play just to get to the hash mark and wait for him to run a cover three once again, which he predictably does on the very next play. So I switch to the PA double post one more time as this is a very unique cover three concept that is one of the reasons I fell in love with this offense in the first place, as most people don't expect to get bombed in cover three by a tight end and the computer doesn't either. You can see that the defense reacts very differently pre-snap against this type of formation when I come out on a hash mark to the short side of the field in multiple ways. Number one, the cornerback on the receiver side is your typical eight yards off the line of scrimmage as it respects the receiver's speed, but the cornerback on the tight end side is even closer, showing no respect to the tight end speed at all. The safety is doing the same thing as he starts to play halfway across the field only worrying about the receivers, but the cornerback on the tight end side will follow the B route, so all I have to do to split the seam is put the tight end on a streak and put the Y route on a fade to hold the safety to that side. Break yourself, fool! Just like that! We need to stop on defense though, so now I go back to the 3-4 odd as this is my most reliable defense and I want to win this game now. Trill, I bet you here. But he can't get away the next time. Ah! As we get him to a third and 20 that he almost picks up with a simple drag. And now he's talking mad shit with a fourth and one still to play. Oh, I'll keep blitzing. Fuck you! And can you believe after talking all that shit and still being up six, he quit the game? What a pussy. He knew what was coming. So that's it. That's the video. Give this offense a try and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Other than that, I'll be making more videos about this offense in the future. So make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button if you want to see more. And if you want to see more from the offenses and defenses I was using in today's video, I'll once again have links popping up on screen. So just click the links as I'm sure it helps your game. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. Lace it out. Show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.